Hello everyone and welcome to today's uh, Facebook Live and we'll be focusing on, you guessed it, website design. So ask me anything about anything you're working on. I want to know. This is a great time to focus on any website changes that you're making or if you're just getting started, it's a great time to learn and see what is possible with the actual builder. Uh, we'll be focusing on that today and I'm going to show you some new tools and resources available that you might not know of. Um, while we're on top of that, I'm going to show you some recent updates uh, from uh, Photobiz so you can see uh, some new changes that are going to make building website pages even better. One of our goals is to make it simple for you to build and maintain your website. That was the driving force behind our new releases in June of 2023. For the website builder, pre-designed page layouts. Sometimes it's nice to start with a blank page or canvas, and other times it's helpful to have a sample or guide to start from. Now we also offer a collection of pre-designed page layouts you can incorporate on your website. Just like our website templates, you can make a pre-designed page layout your own by styling its colors, fonts, and more. Now when you're ready for a new page on your website, you can look at the pre-designed page layouts for inspiration and a head start. Also for the website builder and SEO, alt tags. Search engines are smart, but they can't read images. They need a little help from alt tags, which can help text within the HTML code describe what the picture is. We're happy to share that all images on our website built with Photobiz now support alt tags. That's it for this month. We're really excited about these updates and we can't wait to see. All right, so you can see all the major updates that happened of last month. So we've added pre-designed page layouts for you to design pages faster than ever before. We also give you those alt tags for alt text options. So you upload an image, put in that descriptive uh, language that's tied to that image. It's going to help with search results. And it'll also help for people who are impaired in reading. Uh, so this is going to help them be able to hear it. Uh, and it's just going to help with that accessibility factor. So really excited about all those new functionalities that dropped last month. Going to have some new ones, of course, coming out this month. But we'll see what those are. At the end of the month so again I'm gonna give some people some time if you have any questions or comments please leave it in the comment section that way I know what the focus on today what I can help you with when it comes to building your website uh, so give some people some time before I jump in just start showcasing some new tools and resources Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started in just a moment. But again, if you have any questions or comments about website design, what tools and resources that you can utilize through the Photobiz platform, that's what we're going to be focusing on today. So please leave it in the comment section, something you are working on. Maybe you're having some difficulty and maybe, hey, we can even jump in in the back of your website and see what's going on and make changes right then and there. So 
let's get started while we're waiting. So, uh, again, if you ever need help with anything, check out our guides on our blog.photobiz.com. You can see here available, when you go there, there's an entire set of resources uh, to help you get building. Uh, one thing that we be focusing on today is the Photobiz Dual Build Guide. What is that? So the Dual Build Guide is going to tell you about pro uh, you know blocks that you can utilize for your website uh, to create unique uh, designs better than ever before. So if you've been utilizing you know Photobiz for a long time, this is one of our new updates to the builder since the start of 2023. So you create beautiful, gorgeous web website designs. Basically, it's going to allow you to put blocks side by side with different options to create very unique experiences. You know, editorial style layouts, uh, different types of callouts, you name it. So those are a lot of the big updates that have happened to the builder itself. But another big thing that happened was mentioned at, in the start with that video was the pre-designed page layout. So let's jump into there and see what that's all about. So we're in our control panel. When we're in the website builder, you'll be able to see the you know entire viewing area. This is what it looks like. So some other updates that have come through that you might have missed is there is now a device preview functionality. You can click up here and you'll be able to see what your website looks like just by clicking up a button and see what it looks like on mobile devices and desktop right away. So you can see how your website is playing out so you don't have to shuffle around, go back and forth. You can easily preview it here and then you can go back to the builder when you're ready. So this really helps with the design elements when you're really starting to put something together. Another one of those options that we were talking about is alt text. So for all your images on your website, now you can just click on it. You'll be able to click on the image and you'll be able to add text here and there. So you'll be able to see right here we have a title, subtitle, and alt text. So if I wanted to put a descriptor text for this image, you know, it's a young woman with short red hair staring into camera with a out of focus lake behind her. And there we go, there's our descriptor. So when it comes to search, when people are looking for certain types of shots, like maybe a young redhead woman, something like that, that'll come up in the descriptions. Those would be the options that they'll see float up to the top. So this is stuff that you can add to every single image on your website to help with that searchability and ranking and engagement options for SEO purposes. So that's one of the new ones, but one of my absolute favorite new features, uh, you know, we can always go back and take a look at is new pages. So when you click on new pages, beforehand it would just give you a blank, but now we've created some presets to help make the design choices much easier. I'm just gonna click on page. You'll see right here you have the options to create a new page, but you have starting points now. So maybe you like how one page is laid out. You know, for our homes, you can see specific ones based on designs that we already have for other templates. Maybe you like these styles and you want to implement them into your current template. So you can go through there and implement which ones that you like. So maybe you like how Home on Wolf looks and you just want to use that for your gallery pages or your booking page or something like that. You can easily do that. Just click select and then you can change the name however you want it to be. So maybe we'll just call this our sessions. And then you can include the content or you can keep the page visibility set to visible or make it hidden or disable it together. I'm going to create the new page and what it's going to do is going to populate and it's going to go ahead and put the placeholder images that are there which are these pre-designed images that are here so then you can remove them and add your own content in uh, so this is what this looks like you can see the descriptions there and then we can look at it on a live site what it's looking like too and here it is it's already populated it goes with the theme of our template that we selected so the colors and choices like that but the layout is implemented a direct uh, correlation to the one that was designed on the template styling of that page layout. So you can see it's looking gorgeous. It's going to look awesome on any template styling that you choose. And then you can make changes from there. You can modify on the block level or even the global level, colors, you name it, how you want this design to look overall. And just replace the content that's there. You know, change these images out, put in your own, put in your own text here, there as well. So that's really one of the nice new features. And you can do this for all types of page types. One of my absolute favorite ones is the social link page. And why we create this one? Well, if you use something like a third party tool such as Linktree or something like that, you know, when you're buying the, it's giving you a link to whatever, right, to your name. 
Well, that's not helping with the SEO purposes. That page basically becomes a landing page dedicated to that business. Uh, so Linktree is getting all that uh, revenue flow. They're getting all that uh, engagement to build up their interest and people know all about it. Well, you can create your own social links and optimize those pages easily. All you have to do is select the page type for social links. You can name it whatever you want to. I'm just going to call it social for short. And it's going to populate right away. You can replace this image with you know, your own logo, whatever you want right here. Uh, and then you can see all the links available. So when we're looking at this page, it'll kind of float up like that. And then you can add as many links as you want. You can copy, paste, copy, paste, modify the colors here, change it from the green uh, you know, tone to something that matches your brand with a few clicks. All it takes is this, you know, you go through here. Okay, I like these, okay. I'm gonna change the background color. I'm gonna use more of this uh, mocha tone, or maybe I'll go with the uh, a gray tone. Select that, and you just do that for all the blocks that you wanna modify. I'm just gonna go through here real quick. Make sure I got them all in. And then you do that for your buttons as well. And the nice thing about it, if you're still setting it up and you don't feel like going through all these, here's a nice little quick uh, thing you can do. You can just go through, select which ones, remove the ones that you don't want. And as always, you can just copy, then set them up how many links that you want. So there we go, we got that in. I'm gonna go ahead and see what this color is. I'm gonna change it to our gray tone. There we go. And you can see updating that's pretty fast and easy. And then you just modify the colors how you want to. So. making those tweaks till you're done. And then we have this one here at the top. I'm gonna to modify real quick. And again, just make whatever changes you're looking for. Then you would add your links directly into those pages. Super simple, really easy. Gotta make sure all the colors are the same. That's the main thing. There we go. Six one six one. Yep. All right. Now let's take a look. There we go. So now it's available. You can see what it looks like. The colors all shifted to the way we want it to be. And then you can add as many more social links as you want as you go down the page. And then of course, replace this image with your own current you know, logo or anything that, that you'd like to place up in there. And you could easily do that in no time. Uh, you know, So if you have your logo, you can just either do a couple things. You could either do what I'm gonna do, copy the address. And you could go back over here. You can then go to, I like to do text editor. And I like to also just, you know, insert an image. And look, you can put all text there too. So our image is there. I'm gonna center it up. There we go. And then I'm just gonna remove this one for now. There we go. And then you can modify and see what it looks like. So once it's on there, you can keep it like that. Or you can size it down if you need to. And it's ready to go. Some nice new other features that you have is for different types of page styles. So for your homepage, if you want this to be like a landing page without any logo at the top or you know navigation or even the footer itself, you can make those optional. So you click on settings for any page you can go up to and modify the display of the header and footer. So maybe you're working on a you know hidden landing page. Let's go to our new pages. Let's add one in. Let's go to others. We're going to click on landing page. We're just gonna say landing page.
include all the content. And you can see it's kind of doing the same thing with our social link tree. I'm just going to copy this from earlier and drag and drop it over to our landing page. What's nice is it goes all the way to the bottom, but you can just drag it all the way back to the top and then delete what you don't want. Let's take a look at it. So there's our landing page. And look, no header, no footer. You can always turn them back on. That's really easy to do. Just again, click on settings, and maybe you want the footer displayed only. You want to give them some navigation, but not at the top. You can make that change, and then when they come down there, there it is. So you can make these really fast and easy changes that are going to make your designing just a snap. And I really love these uh, pre-designed page layouts because it really comes down to now just adding your content in versus what am I supposed to style this as? How do I do this? Now you don't really have to worry about any of those decisions. Uh, it's really nice. It's just going to help with your flow and just streamline your entire process overall. Uh, so we have this page set up. You know, then we can link it to wherever we want to, uh, and send it to you know any section of the website that we're curious uh, about for we, for our clients. Hide some pages. There we go going to keep these pages linked out right now so now we got our sessions our social you know whatever else we're working on you can keep that there you can make pages hidden you can make specific landing pages for ads or for your social media channels it's really up to you you know how you want to design the pages uh, so that's one of my favorite factors, but maybe you do something, you know, where you're like, oh, I don't like this page. And instead of hiding it or anything like that, you just throw it away. Well, another new feature we have here is deleted pages. So when you go in here, you can see the pages that have been deleted. Now, it'll store up to the last 15 pages deleted before it boots out the next one. So what's nice is, oh, no, I didn't mean to delete this page. You can go ahead and click here and just hit restore page. Now that page is back on our website, and there it is. So these are nice little, uh, you know, pr uh, just things that are going to help improve your entire workflow and help backtrack if something did happen. Uh, so maybe there was a block on a page that you deleted that you really liked and you didn't know how you designed it. You can always go back and pull it out before you delete it forever. Oh, hi, Alyssa. Can you please go over how to add video? Yeah, sure. Give me a second and I'll uh, get a video link real quick for us and we'll place it into a video block. So what we're going to do is go over to our youtube.com slash photobiz and you'll see there's a lot of video content here. So if you ever want to know something about something, uh, you can just come directly here. So I'm just going to select the video. I'm going to choose this one and you're going to click on it and then you can share. So click on share, click on embed and copy. So now we got this video. Now we can put it on our website. When we go back over to our website, I'm just gonna create a new page real quick and see what we got here. Maybe we have a gallery and we wanna add a video or something at the top of a page versus an image. So I'm just gonna click on gallery. All right, so there we go. So we got these in here. I'm going to replace this banner image and I'm going to add a video block. Now for video block, you have a few options. You can just paste that code in there. You can have a mobile image if you need to as well and title description, but you can have this populate like that and then you can choose a styling. You can have it as a full screen, a banner, or a standard video. Now this is what a standard video will look like when it's populated in there. So you can have that. You can have two side by side as well if you want to place it together that way. So you can put them side by side if you'd like two videos and then maybe get a different uh, embed code for that one. But you can see how they sit next to one another. And people can just click the watch and they'll be able to watch that video, no problem. And you can go back, replace that if you want to. You can also make these banners. Now you can make them video banners, full screen or just simple uh, like this you do that it's gonna prompt with this option now some people are like well can I make it auto loop or play yes you'll need a code for that there are specific ones versus uh, which platform you're using uh, you can easily just add that code in and it'll play on loop um, but I'll pull a, a video loop for you so you can see what that's like so give me just a second 
that way I can pull out what a piece of code can look like. Okay. So if you want a video to play on loop, we can click on this, change the video out. We'll put a code in there. And basically what you're doing is you're telling it to be muted, which is very important for Google. Uh, Google will not play any video uh, on a website uh, due to SEO purposes. Um, this will derank, you know, it, it can make you not rank as high and stuff because they're looking for things that web crawler doesn't like automatically playing videos, especially ones with audio. So you have to make sure it's muted. To autoplay, you want it to kick on, but you also want to have loop. Loop means it's going to continuously loop, so if it's a video that you have that's short and sweet, it will loop over and over. And that's what is preferred anyway. So once that code's in there, let's see what that page looks like now. I'm going to hit refresh. And now you can see that video plays just like that. So if you ever need help with installing a code like that and wanting it on your website and you don't know how to do it, you can look up resources online. Vimeo is probably the prime place to upload your video to than to embed, uh, but because it's gonna give you a lot more easier accessible options when you're adding that code in. But our team knows that code, so if you ever have trouble installing it to autoplay banners, our team can help you and assist you to make sure that you have that autoplaying functionality as a banner for your website. But it looks gorgeous, you know, it really makes it stand out and it'll play over and over with that loop functionality. So try to find nice cutting scenes and things like that when you're putting it together, it's just gonna really make your stuff stand out and be gorgeous. Uh, as for other options for video, if you don't want it just to be in a video block, you can do some other things. So there's also the um, list items, which is a nice little piece of this as well. Uh, you can just add a video in, have an image that represents that video. You know, So if you have a thumbnail that you wanna use for that, so maybe I'll just pick this one for now. Whoop. And then you can put your embed code directly in here. I'm just going to throw the one that we currently have. You have a title saying uh, demo reel, your description, test. Here. And then you can have a series of them going down here. Or watch now. What's nice with this is you could have multiple ones, you know, so if you're doing like making your own block. Uh, you know of different videos now they'll be able to see that I'm going to click that and we're going to go over here We're going to hit refresh I'm going to Go down. So if you have a series of videos you can have them lined up here You can change the color of this icon right now. It's on a gray But when they click the watch it's going to pop up in a light box and they'll be able to watch it this way So it really comes down to how you want the presentation if you have tons of videos I recommend doing this just because it's just going to give it a more elegant uh, experience kind of comes up in like a theater type mode with the opacity kind of given a, a nice dark overlay uh, and then the video plays on its own. So if you have that loop functionality, it'll automatically start playing, uh, you know, with the autoplay functionality or you can have it where they click the watch and then they can watch. So it's really nice uh, display no matter what. So Alyssa, I hope some of those will help you uh, when it comes to that. And again, you can always change the layout and design uh, for these uh, functionalities. And if you ever need help, our team can assist you. Alyssa, do you have any other questions while you're here? Again, we're focused on that website builder today, so I just want to be able to help as many people as possible when it comes to adding options and uh, design. Are you working on your website currently right now? while I wait to see if she replies. Again, easy, very fast, very easy. For the video, it's just about having that embed code and then adding those other options if you need them, just to have the autoplay functionalities and things like that. But do remember the mute option is a very important. Uh, it's very funny how Google creates YouTube to play on phones automatically, but they don't like websites that have automatic playing videos. That's why you don't see many mobile video banners on websites and stuff like that. It's kind of gone away due to the SEO realm. But uh, for desktop, you see it often, but it's usually a muted out banner. Okay, so 
when it comes to that web design element, again, it's about making those small tweaks. So maybe you've made these options, you've created these new pages, but maybe you want to just overhaul your website in general. You can easily do that just by clicking the design tab and then changing your template. A lot of these new website builders uh, in the last few years have gotten away from actually letting you change your template. They've gone for more of a sandbox experience, but I like to say that we're a, sand a true sandbox. We'll give you that parameters, but we're letting you choose uh, which sandbox you play in. Whereas a lot of these other ones, they make you start over from scratch, which could be very time consuming and exhausting and more designer focus, looking for people who design websites versus you know user focus. Uh, so for you, you might not have time for that. So we make sure those options are available. So if you ever want to change your template, you can easily do that by clicking the add new template. You can then search through the templates that are available. Maybe you like this one, you can add it. Then you can go back and actually preview it before you set it to live to make sure it's doing what you want it to do. Very fast, very easy, you know, just a quick change here and there. And look, you know, you got this nice, beautiful website already. So I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, I want this website design. Go ahead, make this change. It's going to auto populate the new accent colors and everything from there. Then you can view your site, give it a nice walkthrough to make sure all the pages are doing what you want to, and then make tweaks where you need to. Uh, that's the nice thing about it. So you can just kind of go ahead and jump around and find that nice focus. Again, you see how landing pages take away the menu options to give it its own exploratory thing. So if you're doing something with a splash intro page, you can create this, then funnel people to a website page that brings them into the main website. So got lots of cool options you can do when it comes to designing the page layouts. Uh, you can really create very unique website experience overall. Alyssa had a question. No more questions for now, but yes, need to make some updates to my current websites, adding video, client galleries, proofing. Yeah, you know, this is the time to do it. So if you got time, if there's anything you ever need help with, you can always reach out to us. And I'm here every Friday at 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. And uh, if you ever want me to jump in on the back of your website, make some tweaks, maybe you're having some difficulties here and there, that's where we can actually do some stuff. So I do website reviews and then I alternate to an ask me anything every week. Uh, today it was just about website design. So if there's anything that you might be stumbling on, if you want me to look at your website, I can take a look at it right now as well, uh, just to give you some feedback. Uh, so if that's something you're looking for, I don't mind doing that. Oh, Galaxy Sports Photography has a question. Looks great. Does PV's basic monthly sub plan include web design support assistance for new clients? If yes, please elaborate on uh, that dedicated process. So, so yeah, if you uh, every every plan comes with support. So when it comes to it, I'm gonna just pull it up. Go to photobiz.com, then you can click on pricing. You can see what comes into everything. So you build it yourself. You can do everything. You get everything exactly as the We Build It For You service, except for the We Build It For You service, it's going to have a few things. What it's going to do is we do this service for you. So we'll actually build your website and get it up and going. But then we'll also implement SEO into your website. So wherever you're trying to be found, our expert Google, in, our in house Google experts will actually implement that strategy into all those pages so you don't have to worry about it. And then we'll launch it for you. Now, any follow-ups, like, you know, you need help here and there, our team is always there to assist you anytime. One nice thing about it is you can come over here. You see on the back of the control panel, you click this blue icon. You're going to see that we re usually respond live chat in under three minutes, so we're always there to help you. And if you're working on something and you don't know how to do it, there is the PhotoBiz Assistance, that orange icon, that will walk you through anything that you might be working on. So if there's anything, like, you know, maybe you're working on changing colors or anything like that, this will describe what it does and how to make those changes. So that's always available. And, of course, if you ever need help and you want to call us, we have that call ability as well. You can just call us anytime. But if you're more DIYs, you can click on our Knowledge Base articles and drop right in there and see what's available when you're making like, hey, how do I change templates? Well, guess what? Here's a whole article that describes how to change your template. So uh, Galaxy Sports, uh, yeah, you get pretty much everything as much as you want, but if you need us to do that for you and get your website online, that we do it for your services there. It's just that one-time fee, design fee of um, $600 and then just your membership, uh, which is the same membership cost as the DIY solution. But if you're making tweaks here and there and need help, We'll be able to assist you. If you need us to do anything for you, we'll be able to handle that for you too. Fantastic. Love hearing that. What's your name? 
while I load up Alyssa's website. I have some questions for an upcoming week. Current website design. Throw this over here so we can take a look. Okay. All right, Wayne. Well, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, pleasure to talk to you about our services and things like that. But yeah, if you ever need any assistance, you know, give us a call. Our team is always there to help you. And if something's like, you know, going to take time to design, that's where our team will kind of come in and say, oh, well, let's maybe do a custom quote for this because uh, it might take a little bit more time than typical support. Support's usually technical questions like, hey, how do I set this up? Whereas, you know, like I want a whole page design like this. Uh, you know, our team usually gets involved with that, but you don't have to worry about that so much now, especially with that pre-design option. Oh man, that's going to help that uh, flow so quickly. So you'd be like, I want a brand new, uh, you know, uh, gallery page and click here and just find something that you like and then it'll drop right in there and then you can make those changes however you want to. So it's really going to help that uh, streamline that process for you, Wayne. All right, let's take a look at Alyssa's website. Since we're talking about web design, let's talk about it. You know, it kind of goes into our web uh, website review options. So we have Alyssa's website. Specializes in business and personal branding photography for websites, social media, and ad campaigns. So right away, you're utilizing a lot of gray tones, which is fine if you're going to go for that tar darker route. Let's just make sure that text is readable. You have gray on gray and different shades of gray. It's kind of difficult to read, right? So we want to make sure that text is there and you know we can make those tweaks. Alyssa, if you want me to, I can load up your website and I can make those changes as we go through it. And you can tell me if you like it or not. Let me know and I'll go ahead and get that implemented for now. Close out some of these tabs to me tabs now okay Alyssa let's rock and roll today huh let me load you up gotta go behind the curtain like the Wizard of Oz give me a moment so I can look you up okay so we're jumping back here. Got the website loaded up, so we're looking at our website. And again, let's go ahead and have that view on. So let's take a look at our website together. So we have this page. We're gonna be working on this. I'm gonna close out some of these other pages that I have. That way we don't get lost in the sauce. There we go. Okay, let me take a little sip of my water. Okay. So right away, you got textures and colors and stuff like that, but there are some things you can utilize to really make that punch out. Like I love this white strip right there at the menu. It's making it, it gravitates your eye, right? It pulls you up to it. But there's some things in here that we can change with the text just to make it you know, stand out a little bit more. So I'm gonna go through there, see what we got text-wise, what's going on. So doing this gray on gray effect. Now, is that something in there? Yep. So you can change this at the block level um, and go from there. So she says, I'm using an older template because I like the darker feel since my logo is black and white but uh, and also need to add my packages to a separate page well let's get to there when we get there but I do think you know keeping that dark tones good what I recommend is just making sure the text gives nice contrast uh, so when you take a you know change like this right right away you can see the text change just makes that pop a little bit more and that's what you want at the end of the day especially when we're specializing in branding photography everyone's focused on the visual aspect right away right so let's make sure that you know your presentation is just as classy and visually stimulating to them especially when it comes to words uh, you know words even though some people say they're not important they are important uh, when it comes to telling a story right so we want people to be able to see it if a picture is worth a thousand words are you telling your, your best stories right so that's what we want so go ahead here I'm just gonna make a few changes just to give this a little bit more polish. Let's see what we got. There we go. So it's nice. And sometimes it comes down to, you know, types of headings and stuff like that that we might be using. So maybe, you know, we 
got a header two on one, but maybe we want to do three on this line just to make that one section pop a little bit more. You can like make those types of changes here and there. I'm gonna go through this. I'm gonna make this all header threes. I think that looks fine. There we go. And then you get at that. And then specializing business personal. Okay, let's go back over there. This line here. So we got it as a header three as well. But let's see what it looks like as a header one. Especially since this is our call out. This is what we want people to know that you do. So it goes up just a little bit. And I'm just going to change the top padding a little bit to make this one medium. And maybe I'll make it thick. Let's see what it does. There we go. So that way it just makes it a little bit more concentrated. Another thing that I'm going to add here is some padding in between the blocks. So the way we do that is just add a divider. Easily add a divider and just that's going to put a little, you know, space in between stuff so it has some breathing room. I'm just going to add a medium sized one here. There we go. So we got that. And then we're going to do a little other things just to help add a little bit more design element to it. You know, maybe a little uh, line. We'll go through there. We'll add a little, you know, make it maybe short. Let's see what it looks like. And we'll make it ultra thin. Let's see what color it picks. We want that line color to be that white. And it's just going to help punch out sections, you know, specializing what you do and then dropping right into a storytelling element. It just adds a little more dynamic to the page, you know, so that's one thing that I definitely recommend. Then we come down to this section. Let's see what we got here. We got it set up on a three, uh, you know, two rows, three. But let's see what it looks like with uh, five real quick. Could keep it that way, but I kind of get what you're trying to do. So let's make a, let's, let's see what we got. Go back to that three. And that might be the preferred choice, but I am going to add some spacing and some color changes in here. So maybe make, make it a little bit smaller so it's not you know, butting up to one another. And then we'll come in here and modify the color of the title to that white. Just so it stands out a little bit more. And you can see we just add a little bit more spacing in there. And now we could bring it up to all one line since you have only five items, which will help shrink that down. But I think this looks fine as is. They come to this section right here to seeing what's available. Something I definitely uh, recommend doing is keeping consistency with your text. So you have portraits and headshots is lower. So uh, that's something I definitely would modify. Oh, before uh, I jump into that, Tanya Brown Gibson has a question. How do I view analytics? So with PhotoBiz, make sure that you've set up your Google Analytics. If you have not, you can go to google.com slash analytics. Then set that up and then you'll add it into the website builder and click on tracking. On tracking, you'll see there's a section here for Google Analytics. Paste that code in here, hit save changes, and then it'll track everything in Google. Google's so resourceful and got all the best tools in there. So anytime that little uh, code is on this page or on the entire website, it'll be able to track what customers are doing on your site. Thank you for that question, Tanya. That's a great question. And I do recommend everyone to have Google Analytics on their website. It's just going to help you understand your pages better. Yeah, no problem. If you have any other questions, please leave it in the comments section. Uh, it just helps you understand you know, your customers and what they're looking for. Okay, so we got this nice section. It's got this nice gray tone. And then we slip into just a solid gray band. Now, what I might do in this section... Uh, maybe is to elevate it a little bit. We could keep that here, but maybe we want to change it to a different color tone. Uh, let's see what a little darker one looks like with just a little bit light of text. Let's see what it looks like. Just gonna make it here. No background. We got a color in that looks good. And then maybe instead of a dark one, maybe we go light and then a dark text. 
something like that helps punch out that like it draws your eye in so if you have something captivating that you want here like this uh, quote from Ansel Adams you can keep that there and it, what it does is it just breaks up the page monotony since we were slipping into gray more into gray it helps break it up with a little color contrast so it draws people's eye in a little bit faster another thing I'll do is add another divider here and make it a spacer and we'll just make that medium see what that looks like that way it's not too butted up onto the thing and we might do the same thing above it as well we'll just add another one just to give it a little bit more breathing room we want these sections to stick out and then we get down to the branding packages and investment booking now you're mentioning I also need to uh, add a page for uh, my packages to be separate yes you could take all this that's on this home page and create your own booking page out of that is that something that you want to do? I noticed when I changed the text on the galleries, I couldn't get them to link to an email or on a social when I wanted to share just one gallery as a landing page. I noticed when I changed the text on the galleries, I couldn't get them to share. Hmm. That, I'll have to see what you're talking about. Uh, describe wh where is that at? Which links? If you want to, you can put, you can write that down. Which page I should look at for those links? Uh, in terms of the branding page that we're talking about, did you want to have all this on its own separate page? Like import all this to its own page itself? Okay, let me click on what she says. So slash food. Whoop. Go up here, food and drink. Couldn't get them to link to an email or on social when I wanted to share them just as one gallery. So you couldn't you couldn't just copy and paste and it wouldn't show up. Or do you mean the link link's name change? Is that something that happened? Because I can see that this one's slash food, but when I come up to it, I see it as slash food and drink. If I do slash food, that one's not available. Do you want it to just be called food? Or do you have a page called food? Let's see. Yeah, you don't have a page called food because the naming for it's just food and drink. Now you could change that to a friendly URL if you wanted to, to just be food. And then when you save it, it'll change the, the universal name for that. Is that something you would like to do, uh, Alyssa? in the whole gallery food and drink or food drink uh so you mean because because after saying simple yeah that doesn't work in like uh html code uh, because it stands for something else so it has to be food dash drink that's what it'll come out to or food drink uh, i think food dash drinks fine but if you don't like that you can uh i just need to keep it food and drink i'm just not sure how to have just not how to have it work I would, if, if you don't want the dash in it, if that's being difficult, I recommend just, let's just make it, uh, let's just make it food, drink. Um, let's see. Let's see, food and drink. Yeah, food, drink's weird, huh? Food, dash, drink, or... Food photography. I don't know. That's a good question. What would you want to call it? If it's not, or you could just make it food, and food can have that way. It's just short and just you know, 
theimagery.com slash food. So it could either be food drink or maybe just food. And food can in a food can imply, you know, other things like beverages and so and stuff like that. Let's see, if I make it just food, let's see. Yeah, so you can do just food. So if you click that link that you sent me now, if you just click that, it will take you to just slash food. So you could keep it that, but keep the main title, it won't change that. So let's take a look. So if we change this in our portfolio, it still says food and drink, but when people click on it, it's gonna take them to slash food. So they don't need to know the URL like link, but if it's worried about the navigation part, food and drink can still be there, but we just changed the actual short link name of it so it gets there faster if people are having a hard time doing food dash drink. So what do you think, Alyssa? Just keeping it as food? I think it'll be shorter and easier to remember that way. Yeah, and if you ever want to update this, you can do that here, but it just because, uh, it's called our friendly URL section. You can update it here. And again, this is you know what it recommends. It should be short and clearly to communicate the content that can be found on the page. Use only numbers and letters and separate each word with hyphens and leave out special characters. So you know, that's why the and can't come in there because it won't work. Um, just food would work if it just says, uh, and drink on the site. Yes, I think keeping it just foods in the uh, in the custom friendly URL is fine. It's gonna look good. All right, let's go back to that home page real quick. Let's see what we got going on. So back to this section. Now you have all this right on the home page. Now typically this would be in a package page or you know investment page. Do you want to have this on for its own pages? and then take it off the home page. While you reply to that, I'm gonna update these uh, to keep that consistency. So we have portraits and headshots. all consistent when we look at the page now there we go so what are you thinking Alyssa do you want to keep the content here or would you like this to be its own um, page for all the branded stuff I guess I can leave it on the home page for now. I'll have to play up the others pages and more this weekend. I'll probably be signing up for a block of time with you guys. Oh, for sure, yeah. Take advantage of our education, uh, our coaching. Again, if you guys don't know about that, go to education.photobiz.com. Our coaching sessions are great because it can help you build your website or work on anything that you're working on at any time. For $100, you get a lot of time spent on whatever you're working on. So that design assistant thing, you can get a lot uh, done with that. So uh, definitely recommend doing that if that's something that you're interested in. It's basically what we're doing now, but we're only doing like five, 10 minutes worth of like touch points. Whereas if we have a whole hour, you can get a lot done uh, and you'll be working with our experts in house. So take a uh, take advantage of that if you guys don't know about it. Um, I'm gonna throw it over here in the comment section. Definitely recommend this for anyone that might be working on something, but just need somebody with maybe some faster hands to get stuff done. Uh, I think that's the best part about it is people are like, wow, I can't believe we were able to do that much in an hour. But yeah, definitely, definitely something to look at. So let me take a look at the rest of the web pages. We're going to keep this as is for now, but I will just make this where this text is a little bit more legible, get away from the gray tones so we can uh, see the text pop out on the page. But other than that, 
yeah, it's looking great. And I recommend doing that for your other pages. Just make sure that text, just a nice little bit of polish on the page, you know, that goes a long way. Um, especially on mobile, you know, people, people are looking at their phones all day. Sometimes it gets hard for them to read. Either that or my, my peepers are getting too old and they'll take my glasses off when I read my phone these days. <laughs> and I'm buying bigger phones each year, I've noticed. So, so as I creep up towards my 40s, uh, I'm getting to the point where I'm like, I, I can't read. <laughs> all right. I think we're just changing all the titles and text to white just so it's readable. And then we'll just kind of give it a little look over make sure it's looking good okay let's see what we got made those changes let's hit refresh got this one block here what's going on there okay let's modify that to make that white For some reason that block it wants to be white but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take that that's the second block no it's the one below it that's what it is maybe I didn't hit the right button on that one there we go go here ah that's what I did background there we go now let's take a look yeah there we go now we fix the title on that one there we go and add some brevity right there since it's button up to the bottom just a little divider and make it medium go so now it's, it feels like it's uh you know kind of making some space and just kind of find spacing you know like again dividers can be your best friend they can break up a lot of information on the pages you know especially when you got these sections uh, with a lot of details I definitely recommend adding that I'm just gonna copy the one that we had from earlier I'm gonna just bring it down real quick see what it looks like uh, just broke breaking these sections up I'm gonna put th this one in real quick just to see but you can see, like, boom, it's, it just helps break up the page a little bit so they know what they're looking at next. I'm going to change it from a short to a long. And I'm going to add a little spacing in between this just to give it its own breathing points. And that way, you know, it's still in the same section, but it's breaking up the information. Uh, this is really what I recommend. And I'm going to change it from long to medium again. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to drag it. And just pop it in between each section so it doesn't get lost. There we go. Starting to feel a little bit more organized. There we go. So, you know, Alyssa, we made a few tweaks just to your homepage a day. I can make a few more tweaks, maybe just for your about page. Let's see what we got going on over there. Got these really massive photos, which you know they can be great, but they also cause people to scroll more. Let's get let's get to the uh, point a little bit quicker, right? So, what I recommend for this, changing the layouts and stuff. So maybe we keep one nice picture but instead of it being flush maybe we turn flushing off there we go and get straight to the point a little bit faster ah okay well let me let me help you there real quick I'm gonna go ahead This text centered. And then below 
of that, same thing. We'll add a little bit of spacing in between it too, so let's make it medium, change the text. Feels too small, you can always modify that in the global settings, or you can modify it here. Maybe you want this to pop out just a touch, make it make it a two for now. See what it does. There we go. Just that. Just that alone. You know, it's gonna go along. You can keep modifying this how you want to. You can make it go down the line this way. You can uh, you can just tweak things however you want to. Let's see, we got this one. And I might just change this layout to a rectangular one by three. Now we get this beautiful pictorial this way. So when I'm looking at it, let's see, and it might be flush, but I can fix that. But it looks good flush. Might be nice that way, right? Little little tiny tweaks like that go a long way. Yeah, for this one, I think for your page style, the way it's designed, it looks better when it's not flushed all the way to the um, to the seams. So just turning that flushing off, I think that goes a long way. You are welcome. That's what it's about today. I'm glad you showed up, especially if you're gonna be showcasing this to uh, wrangling clients and stuff. Let's make sure you're looking good, right? So we got this text. I'm just gonna make it all that header too, um, just so it pops up a little bit more there. And then we're just gonna have that medium spacing in between. Consistency, right? So select. Styling. There we go. So, and I'm going to modify just real quick because the titles in this are hard to see. So let's make it easy to read. There we go. Gorgeous. Now it feels consistent to the rest of the page, and it feels like uh, you know a little bit more cohesive at the end of the day. We'll take a look at your portfolio and stuff later, but if that's something you want to do, Alyssa, definitely recommend uh, the coaching session just because we can spend more time on this page and getting it up to date. But as long as it's functional for you now, that's the most important part. We want people to be able to click on these things and then book with you on these options, okay? So that's the important part. So let's make sure that's all doing well first and then everything else can uh, be modified and changed as you go. Uh, but it's more about just making sure you have the elements there and how it looks, you know, at the end of the day on mobile and stuff like that because that's where a lot of people are, they're looking first before they make their final decision. So yeah, you can see those changes, but it changes from a real quick from uh, the mobile styling to a single column. There we go, yeah, it's looking good. Fantastic. Well, we're able to knock some of that stuff out and go over you know, website design details today. I'm very excited. Alyssa, I hope these changes will help you this weekend. Uh, with all these other changes and yeah look forward to doing some education with you you know one of our assistants will be able to uh, uh, help you one of our coaches assistants will be able to help if it's not myself it'll be one of our other designers uh, so you get you get a really nice uh, you know team of experts that can actually look at your stuff and help you uh, that's the really nice thing about it so take advantage of that uh, when you get a chance and when you're ready and that goes for anyone else that might be stuck or maybe you've designed your website but you need an extra pair of eyes. Next week is going to be our website review. So check it out. Go to education.photobiz.com. You can see 
when we have our next upcoming events, what's going on. So you can see today is about website design. Then we have for new people, welcome to PhotoBiz will be next Wednesday. But then after that, our Friday session will be website reviews. And then the following week, we'll be focusing on fonts and colors and how important those are. And Alyssa, we talked a little bit about that. Ha having that nice contrast is great. I love dark websites, but got to make sure that font is legible and readable when it needs to be. So larger fonts can help, but also colors make a big uh, decision point when it comes to people making those choices. So you can see what's coming up in the next few weeks right here. And hey, what's this? A new feature coming? Guess what? It's already been included here in our Facebook Lives if you notice our schedule. So we'll be talking about that coming up soon. Account users and permissions. Maybe you're not just a one-man band. Maybe you have some other people there. Uh, this will be something that you can definitely look at as a new feature dropping in the PhotoBiz uh, platform soon. So a lot of things coming up. Check out that. Go to our education.com, uh, education.photobiz.com, and then go to upcoming events or just click on the upcoming events tab. But again, if you want that coaching experience, $100, one hour, you get a lot done. So if you're just getting started and you want an expert in there to help you build your website, Click on that. Design assistance. Maybe you're making refreshes or building a page and you need expert help. Choose that. E-commerce, client galleries, SEO, forms and contracts, marketing, you name it. Our team of experts are here to assist you. $100, you get a lot done in one hour, okay? Definitely recommend it. It's been huge for our clients. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Again, if you want to see what came and dropped last uh, month, I'm going to replay that video here at the end. But you can always... Go back and watch this video anytime you want to. It's available on our facebook.com slash photobiz slash live. It'll drop as soon as I'm done here. Or you can watch it anytime on our YouTube at youtube.com slash photobiz. You can see all our video content floats up there. And you'll be able to watch it anytime you're looking for it. Last week we were talking about landing pages. So let's go ahead and set up those landing pages if you need them. Uh, so yeah, check us out. Really excited. And can't wait to see you guys next week. Have a good weekend.